Hey guys, so uh, VRChat's IK 2.0 system has been out for a few months now, and I am absolutely loving it. In order to have a good experience with it, I thought I would go over the uh, settings that the new IK system has. So, under tracking in IK, you have a uh, user real height here, which is set to my real height. Um, it's much more accurate now, so you don't have to fake your height in, in order to have a more one-to-one -one experience with like your floor, so it should be more accurate. And uh, next here we have the avatar measurement section, so there are two ways that, that you can optimize it. One is the height measurement, and the next one is the arm span measurement so if your if your arms are scaled really short or like super long uh let me see if i can find an avatar real quick that has something like that uh let's try this one so if your arms are having like a weird bend like that as you can see it's like not reaching where it should uh if you go under arm span here it should allow you to extend that far however your your floor is way way off in fact i can go under the ground here and so in an instance of that you can just go to toggle by height instead And you would have to live with the arms like this, however, you can sort of have a much more usable experience. That's the, the real floor right there. So the uh, next setting here, you're able to swap be between the older IK and the newer ones, so... However, I don't know why you would want to do that for any reason whatsoever. much better. So the uh, next one here, you can enable and d d disable your full body, and you don't have to recalibrate, which is awesome. And then of course you got the calibrate button right here, so you can just hit that, recalibrate. Now these here are interesting, so lock hip will make sure your hip is always spot on accurate however your your head might drift a little bit depending on where you are the uh few balls just slightly under my nose it's not that far off however it's a tiny bit noticeable now if you were to lock your head, your head will always be accurate. However, your hip will move around slightly to accommodate that. Let's see here, so the head's accurate. If we swap into lock hip, it'll shift a little bit and your head will be slightly not in the same place. Let's lock hip real quick. So the head is accurate, but the hip is a little inaccurate, at least when laying down like this. I like using lock hip and lock both here will lock everything so it's always accurate. However, your body may have to bend in like weird ways in order to accommodate that. So I don't recommend you use it unless your avatar is scaled absolutely perfectly then the last thing here you can toggle on and off whether your avatar does movement animations or not so it used to have to be done inside of unity there's a locomotion thing which you would have to do however if i were to turn that off you can see we have movement animations but 
if we turn that on, we have no more movements, so you no longer have to go inside of Unity in order to have that done, which I think is really awesome for Avatar creators. So yeah, that's basically it. Those are all the settings that, that the new IK system has. If you have mods, uninstall them now. So yeah, that's it. Yeah.